We have a crime alert tonight after a stranger sexually assaulted a 71-year-old woman at her Conroe apartment complex. We're told her attacker approached her while she was working in her garage at the Arella Forest at Woodland Complex. That is off of FM 1488. Our Jonathan Martinez talked with worried residents and is joining us live now. So, Jonathan, this guy's still out there. Indeed, he is. That suspect is still on the run tonight, Lauren. We can tell you that residents living in this complex are more than a little on edge tonight considering this crime happened in broad daylight. And I came around and saw the police and the ambulance, and I heard that one of the ladies had been raped. Residents call it a despicable crime that's left their senior apartment community shaken, many of them now on guard. I am. I've never been before, but... Uh... I'm certainly going to be. Conroe police say they were called out to the Arella Forest at Woodlands Thursday evening for a report of a sexual assault of a senior. Basically, I just saw like ambulance and um, cops and uh, fire trucks and all that, and I don't know what was really going on. According to investigators, a 71 year old was working inside her garage when she was approached by an unknown man who then forced himself on her and sexually assaulted her before getting away. It's insane. I, don't, I mean, I don't know who would seriously want to do that. I thought, my lord. I walked out here at 2.30 in the morning. I thought this was a safe place. For residents like Brenda Kimmy, who also lives at the senior complex and walks her dog daily, she's already changing things about her own routine. I don't usually worry about things like that, but I went out today and bought me a thing of mace. Residents say they plan to keep a watchful eye out now more than ever. All the while, they're hoping police catch the suspect sooner rather than later. I hope they punish him so he can't do that because that lady was a very, is a very sweet lady. Authorities described the suspect as a tall, skinny black man and possibly with a goatee. He was likely wearing dark clothes at the time. Of course, if you have any information about this case, you are urged to contact the Conroe Police Department. We are reporting live tonight from Conroe. I'm Jonathan Martinez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Jonathan.